the founder of Ascension Spirituality was St. Vincent de Paul, a French priest. He was born on April 24, 1581, and died on September 27, 1660. He was born into a peasantry family and firsthand experienced a meager life. His mother was his inspiration to ground his work in a passionate love for the poor and those in need. Wars like the Franco-Spanish took many lives. Epidemics, along with famines, killed many in Europe during this time, leaving thousands in poverty and in need. St. Vincent de Paul founded a way to incorporate his faith and desire to help others in his work, thus creating Vincentian spirituality. The Vincentian mission is to follow the life of Jesus Christ by evangelizing the poor. They also see Jesus embodied in the poor. The Vincentian empathizes with those who are suffering spiritually, physically, mentally, and materially. One of the goals of the Vincentian is to take action in helping with prayer, looking for justice, and deeds of mercy. St. Vincent de Paul teaches us to see Christ in the poor and suffering. Vincentians believe that the essence of religion is found among the poor, and when we help them, we help ourselves and Jesus. St. Vincent de Paul founded four charities. The first one is the Congregation of the Mission, which was established in 1625. It is a Roman, Catholic, apostolic community of priests and brothers. They followed Jesus Christ and evangelized the poor. Today, Vincentians preach parish missions throughout the U.S. and sponsor missions in Kenya and Haiti. They pay special attention to the needs of the young, the poor, and those on the margins of society. Another charity is the Confraternities of Charity. It was the first institutional expression of Vincentian charism and was established in 1617. Together, St. Louise de Marillac and St. Vincent de Paul established the Daughters of Charity in 1633 in response to the cries of the poor in 17th century France. St. Louise de Marillac was an influential individual to Vincentian spirituality. She was born August 12, 1591, and died March 15, 1660. St. Louise de Malac was born out of wedlock and raised in a convent. Later in life, she married, but her happiness was short-lived when her husband passed. One day, she had a vision in which she saw herself serving the poor and living the vows of religion in her community. Soon after, she met St. Vincent de Paul, and they created Daughters of Charity. Women part of Daughters of Charity make vows of poverty, chastity, obedience, and another vow of service of the poor. Today, the Daughters of Charity are an international community of over 25,000 women ministering throughout 19 countries throughout the world. In 1635, the Ladies of Charity was established. They responded to the needs of the poor. Without seeking any recognition, Saints Vincent and Louise were content in knowing that they were serving Christ in the person of the poor. Today, the charity is still active throughout North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. The three Vincentian universities are Niagara University, DePaul University, and St. John's. Niagara University is an institution founded by two priests. Niagara remains true to the Vincentian principles of preparing students for professional success while remaining committed to St. Vincent de Paul's values. DePaul is another institution committed to providing to all students, even the ones that cannot afford and teaching them the Vincentian way. As of Vincentian University, St. John's looks to St. Vincent de Paul for its vision and incentive. Throughout the year, St. John's gives students the opportunity to serve the needy, respect each other, and build human solidarity.
we should help and support one another and strive for peace and union ourselves this is the wine that cheers and strengthens travelers along this narrow path of jesus christ i recommend this to you with all the tenderness of my heart the poor have much to teach you you have much to learn from them charity is certainly greater than any rule moreover all rules must lead to charity go to the poor you will find god the poor are your masters you are the servant when you are called from your prayers of the eucharistic celebration to serve the poor you lose nothing since to serve the poor is to go to god you must see god in the faces of the poor love the poor honor them my children as you would honor christ himself be very gentle and courteous toward the poor you know they are our masters and we must love them tenderly and respect them very deeply it does not suffice to have these truths rooted in our mind we must display them in our gentle and charitable care